Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Psychopath Season 2, Episode 9. And last episode, we figured out that Kamui was made of 184 people, and that's why he's become a ghost to the civil system. And then his plan is to return the whole system. And then you have um, the inspector Mika that was. <sighs> She wrote this report, sent it to the chief, not knowing that the chief was part of the brain trust. And then uh, Logani comes up behind her. And now they're about to tell her the truth behind the civil system. And I feel like he's going to die sooner or later. Goodness. Yeah. So before we get into this episode, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash philomini. So let's start this episode and here we go. Yeah, and there was supposed to be this system that they were going to develop to replace the simple system, but then it got sabotaged. Probably possible. Girl, we know it's fake. She's trying to save herself. It's clear? So she accepted it? For real? So he just killed a little puppy and then he's smiling like nothing. Is he about to kill this one too? Okay then. So what made his thing go up? What the hell? I thought from where her eyes was like crazy looking and then she kept like applauding in my mind. I'm thinking that she's just trying to save herself, man. She's just acting like she's okay with everything, you know. And then they mentioned that her hue is clear. So I'm like, okay. So I guess it didn't affect her like I was thinking that it was. And I don't want to use her to color a kind of black heart. The heck is that going to happen? <sighs> no, he's probably talking about civil. Why? I feel like that was a great explanation, but I didn't follow it. <laughs> Look.
So you'll see it by chance. They're about to get out of them. They're about to die. You're about to die. I hope this this succeed, man. Cause I was so tired of civil, but I don't feel like that's gonna happen. What am I looking at? Wait, is that Andrea Bocelli's voice that I'm hearing? Andrea! I hope it's your voice, because it's so, so beautiful. I didn't even see what the heck. What did you give her? Oh, the grandma. Fenade is coming up. Huh? 
Az lesz a kapász. I haven't even been trying to save the <laughs> the after credit so nice. Nah. <laughs> and here I thought there was not gonna be <laughs> an after credit and I just let the music play. And um, you know, Will was checking on something else. And then I'm like, I think I hear something else. And then I went and checked. It seems like you had to gun it cutting off the grandma's ear. What do I keep sneezing today? What the heck? I had to go back and uh, look at the scene again where um, this dude, who, whatever his name was, gave something to a candy and then I was like, and then with Charlie, I was hearing his voice and then I'm like, I close my eyes to enjoy a little bit, but then uh, this stuff. So yeah, I went back. <laughs> and then I was also confused a little bit because I knew the guy wanted to do something with Akane because he found, he, he, they all think, or he thinks, that Akane is the biggest threat to their plan. And then I'm like, okay, what is, what is he going to do? And then when they came, all these people were burning, and like the corpses or whatever were burning, whatever. And then he gave her this box. She opens it. And then she see there was an ear in it. Excuse me. And then Mika scanned it, and it turns out to be the grandma's ear. And then when I saw that, Mika saw that and then she looked straight at Togane. So I'm like, for a second I was confused that maybe the guy that was giving her, that gave Akane the box was actually, whoa. I don't know, just the way the scene played out, I thought for a second that Togane was the guy that gave him the, um, the box, you know, that, that maybe he was an over, or not uh, hologram, a uh, hologram, you know. But then, if the guy, the guy's not in, in custody with Saiga, right, and they're about to interrogate him. So if that was the guy that was actually working with Kamui, where did he get the ear from? Because Togani was asking um, Mika to find out where the grandma was. So when they gave her the grandma's ear, it means that Togani has something to do with it. Now, what's the connection between Togani and this guy? Do they have something on the side? Are they clearly they are using um, Akane's? desire to stop um Kamui against her because when they first had the first uh tete -tete, she pointed the gun at Kamui but she didn't shoot him so now it seems like they are trying to push her to the point where when she when she's actually like in front of them again that she actually shoots him and kills him and they're doing that by using the grandma now, did they actually kill the grandma? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if he did, because the guy kills people without feeling anything. Like, he kills little puppies, like, cute, adorable puppies, and he was smiling. So... <laughs> I was about to say, like, when you kill your little puppies, they, it's not going to be a problem to kill, like, human beings or grandmas. Like... I don't know, as, as if puppies are more important than human beings. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know if he just cut, cut off the ear, which I seriously doubt. I feel like he killed her and then he cut off the ear. And then found some way to send it to this guy to present to Akane so that she can lose it. And uh, so that they can push her to commit, 
to kill somebody, I guess. I hope they they don't succeed, man. Like, I seriously hope they don't. Like, she's when Makishima killed her friend in front of her, and she didn't kill him. And then she had to go through this thing where she had to relieve that, you know, in her mind. And her psychopath came up a little bit and then went back to normal. That was her friend. This is her grandma, you know. So I want to believe that she's going to keep being clear. But I feel like she's not. Ooh. And then I noticed something that I probably should have mentioned. Or maybe I did mention it. The intro. The first season's intro, you had um, at the end was sort of like um, Kogami with the gun pointed at whatever. And then this one, you had Akane pointing the gun, right? And then I'm like, okay, in the first season, it ended with Kogami killing Akishima. Is this season gonna end with Akane killing Kamui? You know, I don't want her to though, because I feel like that would be given into the civil system and I want that system down, man. Like, I really don't like the way Kamui is going about things, but I just want it down. Like, I want to destroy that system. I'm like so tired of that chief in the chair and talk as if she knows everything. You know, I'm just tired of them. I'm so tired of them. So I want them gone. I want Kamui to succeed. I don't want Akane to kill anybody. I want her to keep being the clear, hue level, the headed person that she is, even if they kill the grandma. But I don't know. I feel like the, the intro is an indication that she's not kill the dude. And they even this when the season started, they were like, this season, this. The story is about me as a person or something or other, and they were talking about Akane, so I don't know. And then when they started this episode, last episode, when the last episode ended, they were trying, they were telling uh, Mika the whole truth, right? And then they showed her after that, like, clapping like hysterically with the crazy eyes, and I'm like, okay, is she being like genuine in this moment? And then like the, her cue is clear, so I guess she was being genuine and accepted the civil system just like that. And now they said they were gonna use her to color uh kind of black. And I guess the way that they used her was to why would they even need her to find out where the grandma was? Like the civil system has eyes everywhere, right? Couldn't they find that information really quickly? But he made her look for the grandma. I don't know. I mean, so that, that whole situation is like, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. And then there were, um, there was this particular scene where they were talking about the, uh, what was it called again? The omnipotence paradox. I feel like I, I can get it if I actually sat back there and went through it again with the, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm using? I'm using. I'm looking for. Uh, like the demonstration that they were doing, with the simple system and, and the man, the blue colors and the orangey colors and all that. I feel like if I were to sit down and like actually follow it really well, it would make sense. But I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's what happened this episode. Come we please win. Uh, please up here, up turn, whatever. Destroy the simple system, man. Because it is pretty gone. In the worst school, I mean, I'm mean, never gonna see him again. I can't miss him. I miss him so much. Uh okay. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to see the next episode right now, you can do so by taking on my Patreon, my Patreon, and I'll slash for the video, and you can also see the full, like, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.